Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, yeah, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's, uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfreds. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Well, to old friends. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Well, oh. let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. A Royal Five. Hmm. Yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Hmm. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes, no doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list.
Hello? Manfred. Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? <gasps> oh my god. He's dead. Oh. God. Oh my God. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We got to get out of here fast. Will you give me much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. You're gonna be a good girl, you're gonna go home, and let me get on with my investigation. Stop the car. Stop the fucking car! This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. I can't 
can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. Lauren! him once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any... Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. Sure we can make a deal, huh? God, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you can come into my house and steal my dope? You're gonna be shooting up in hell, motherfucker! Come on, man! Will you stop fucking moving? Whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father too. But I have no choice.
Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. I'll talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Vitropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Sure, why not? I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army.
little ferret. We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. <laughs> ah, say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rented to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold on. There's my sting of it. Have you ever noticed, as soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Hello, sir. I've come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you, in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, his humble flock, should walk in his steps.
Hey, Cracker! What you doing in there? Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Blood. Now why is there blood here? Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack's size. Hmm. <laughs> Not the car I'm looking for. Gary coming. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jack's. Few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it. Killer's car was here.
one of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, stop. Enough. I'm starting to remember some things. You, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Oh, shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. <laughs> what? They letting you dope heads in the FBI now? God bless America. <laughs> now I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five O. Permanently.
So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? 